welcome your host for the evening, Jim Bowen. Welcome to Bullseye. Well, we're at it now, well into the series. What about last week? I couldn't believe it last week when the lads missed it. Oh, dear, dear. Let's hope they do it tonight. A nice warm round of applause for the first couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Central, John and David Gray. Right, right. Tell us where you're from. It's obviously a Midlands accent from Warley. From Warley, yes, yeah. I know it. Nice part, of, nice part of the world, isn't it? That? Yeah, what do you do for a living, Dave? Pat Maker. A pattern maker. You married? Yeah. Any family? No. No family? No. How long have you been married? Seven years. Really? No. Uh -huh. I've got a book about it. Have you... <laughs> <laughs> what about you, John? Yes. Oh, right. So, I never yeah. asked a question and we got yes. No, that's it. You are married? Yes, okay. yes. Any family? Yes, I've got two, two boys. Two boys? Yes. How long have you been married, John? Eight years. All right. Any hobbies? Fishing. That's Most Nine popular months. sport, isn't it? It's yeah. frightening that. The more people fish than anything else, don't they? Yeah. Well, nearly, nearly everything else, isn't it? What about you, John? Oh, I like playing pool. Do you? Yeah. Are you an athlete? Because you're, you're like... You're, like no, you're, no, no, no. You're not, because like, you're a model for a dipstick, really, aren't you? But, yeah, well, it's getting a bit close now, <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. incredibly <laughs> slim, aren't you? Must be the envy of all the athletes in the world, that. Because he's... Well, I should keep working on that, eh? <laughs> I've got it. Go, it's uh, How long is it? <laughs> 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 Brewer, do you drink a lot? Nah, not a lot. You spill most of it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you both with us. Privileged to have you here. John, off you go into your little seat Thank there. You. Dave, there you go. And the next couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. Come on, look at that. From Television South, Carol and Steve Peckham. Hello, Carol. and Steve. Right, come on, tell us where you're from. From uh, the New Forest. The New Forest, that's right, Southampton, Winchester. Beautiful part of the world, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. When you walked in, I saw the face grow a bit. Were you a bit frightened when you came on? Yeah, I've been frightened since I got here. Have you really? <laughs> well, it's funny, isn't it? It's different yeah. when you get on, isn't it? Are you happily married? Yes. Yeah. Have you any family? Not yet. Not yet. How long have you been married? Only a year and a half. Just a year and a half? Well, you're up late, really, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living? A uh, pipe fitter. A pipe fitter, yeah. yeah. And do you still work, Carol? No, I'm just a housewife. Ju well, ju and no family, so it's... Well, it's not a bad life, <laughs> is, it? No, no. is it? You were the dart player, Carol? Yes. You, uh, how, why is that? Because... It's unusual to have a lady who's... Are you really into darts? Yes, I've been into darts since I was 15. Have you really? He didn't really start playing darts until he married me. <laughs> you made him have it, then? <laughs> darts <Yes>. as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another bit. That won't go out. Never mind that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Knowing Harris, it probably will. Now, listen. <laughs> Smashing to have you with it. You're a right good-looking couple anyway. It's really lovely to have you on, have you on the show with us. Yeah. Over there, Steve. Right. And down there, Carol. Nice to have you. And the third couple tonight going to play Bullseye. Come on, this is nice. From Harley, Pat and George Parsons. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. Yes. talked to you yet, have we? First yeah. time to talk to you. Where First are you from? Western Super Mayor. Oh, yeah, that's a nice part. Holiday resort, of course, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I come from a holiday resort. Well, a resort is the last. Morecambe. Yep. Have you heard of Morecambe? We have, we have, yeah. There's one thing to be said about Morecambe. The beach is near the sea. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, no, Western's not bad, is it? It's a nice, warm, friendly place, isn't it? It is. In the West Country. Yeah. Lovely quality of life down there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Everything's exactly. slow and it's great. What do you do, George? I'm a heating engineer. Heating engineer? Yes. Your own business? Uh, I work for myself. You work... Well, that's, that's his own business, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Why didn't you just say yes? <laughs> what about, what well, about you, Pat? Housewife. Now, don't say just a housewife. Well, You've got a family. Them. Well, you keep the books for the family. Yeah. It's all straight and there's none of that through no, the office. No, no, that. No, no, no. copper definitely. piping welded no. down and in, is no. it? None of that. No. Uh, have you family? Yes, yeah. four. What have you? Four? Oh, well, um, <laughs> you've done more than pipe fitting then, over you? I'm <laughs> <sitting down. laughs> Happily married, obviously. You look lovely and happy. Yes. You've got your own yeah. house down in Western. Yeah, yes, yeah. And is business all right? Pretty good. Good. Pretty Looking good. forward to playing the game. Yes. We are. Do you feel nice and relaxed? Oh, yeah. Not too bad. You obviously not, look Not too nice bad. A little bit. Just, well, that's good. A yeah. little bit of nerves yeah. is good, isn't it? Put you, put all you right. in the right place. That's right. Pat, off you go to your little seat. George, lovely. Yeah. Well done. Smashing couples, aren't they? All three of them. Come on, Alfred. Okay. We'll go through it again, just to remind you. Come and have a look at the board, and we'll just remind you exactly how the game goes. It's the bullseye dart board with all the categories round the board. And in each category, we've got bonus areas. And this is the different element of the game. These bonus areas of 30, 50 and 100, these can be won by the dart player by hitting the subject chosen by his partner. 
And if he hits the bullseye, and you'll not believe this, he can get £200. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> and you should do it as though you mean it, you see. <laughs> Once the subject's gone, of course, once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. All right, just like the last series. OK. Now, we have arranged the order of play before we came on the air, and they're all sitting there, all ready to play the game. You can see them all. Now, then, the value of the questions in the first round is £30. So we're looking at John to choose a subject for David to play the game. Uh, showbiz, please. Yeah. Showbiz. So it's David to throw, and we're looking at showbiz. It's helping him there, flashing, showing where to, where to hit the board. And he's done it. He's got a £30 bonus before we even start. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Who became the force's sweetheart? Vera Lynn. Right, you've got that right. <laughs> Give him a round of... <laughs> All, right. All right, Steve, look at the board. Uh, spelling, please. Spelling. All right. Come on, Carol. Nice and relaxed. Flashing to help you, Carol. Ooh, about it. You've got a question on words. There's no bonus, but you can still get this question right, and it'll give you £30, and it is early days. What is the singular, Steve, the singular of mice? Mouse. Mouse is right for £30. That's all right. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Make them nice and relaxed. <laughs> now then, Pat, choose a subject for George. Places, please. Places. All right, George. In you go. Flashing to help you. He's not. In fact, he's got you a question on sport. But if you can answer this, you still get £30, so don't worry too much about that, Pat. Here's your question. What's the name of the test cricket ground at Leeds? Now, it's... Headingley. He's absolutely right. Headingley's absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> All nice and relaxed. At the end of that round, we've got John and David with £60, Steve and Carol with 30 and Pat and George with 30 so we move on to round two. And this time, the questions are worth £50 each, but they are a little bit more difficult, and, of course, we've got less categories for the dark player to aim at. Let's look at what we've got left. We've got food, places, affairs, history, books, Great Britain and spelling. All right, John, look at the board. What about it? Uh, spelling, please. All right, so it's David... To go for spelling. Not forgetting the bullseye and the bonus, of course. And he hasn't got you what you wanted. It's a, a question on Great Britain. So here's your question. No bonus, but the question is worth £50. For whom is Chequers a country residence? The Prime Minister. Exactly right. Super answer that. Yes, well done. Well done. Come on, Steve. Choose a subject for Carol. Uh, spelling again, please. It's spelling again this time. Come on, Carol. You relax now. There's plenty of time. <laughs> not. And sadly, it's Britain, and the category is gone, so we can't even ask you the question. Still early days. Pat, look at the board and choose a subject. History, please. History. Now then, George. <laughs> not. It's sport. And the question's gone, so, we, again, we can't ask the question. So, at the end of that round, gives us the scores with John and David, £110, Steve and Carol and Pat and George, both with £30 each, as we move to round three. And this, here, it can all upend, because the questions are worth £100. They are a bit more difficult, and we have got less categories. Let's have a look at what we've got left to aim at. We've got food, places, affairs, history, books and spelling. What about it, John? Spelling, please. Spelling you. for David. Britain, and we can't ask the, answer, ask the question because it's gone, so we move on and we look at Steve. Choose a subject. Affairs, please. Affairs. This is current affairs, Carol. It's flashing to help you. And she's in. She's got you a £30 bonus, and here's the question on current affairs for £100. <laughs> Name one of the two men who were the chief contenders in the February 1982 election in error. Charles Hoy. He's right for £100. <laughs> All right, Pat, look at the board, choose a subject. <clears throat> food, please. Food. Right, this is for a £100 question on food. Come on, George. 
is there a £50 bonus? That's excellent. And here's the question on food, and it's for £100. £100. Which vegetable delicacy also produces fern-like leaves and they're used by florists? Asparagus? Is right for £100. Well done. <laughs> excellent. So at the end of round three, we have the scores with John and David with £110, Steve and Carol with £160, and Pat and George with £180. What a turnaround. We've got to say cheerio to John and David. Give them a nice warm round of applause. Come on, boys. Then and then with the last round it all went. Never mind. You've got the bullseye darts and the bullseye pen, yeah. and you've got £110, which I'm going to count out for you now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 pounds. Pick those that money up with our compliment. Yeah, yeah. It's been lovely having you with us. It's been worth you coming anyway, hasn't Definitely. it? Definitely. There Definitely. you are. It's been a lovely having Thank you with you. the lads. A great couple. Come on. Give them a nice warm round of applause. Fine. Now we move to round two, and here, as you all know by now, we, we use a normal, traditional match play dartboard. And you remember, in this part of the game, the two remaining contestants compete in three rounds of darts against each other, and the highest scorer of each round wins for his partner a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. So it's pounds for points, all right? Carol, up to the hockey and score as many as you can to get a question for your partner. That's fine, George, you stand here. And it's over to Tony Green. It's round one. Carol throw. It's trouble twenty. Single twenty. And that's a five. That's eighty-five. <laughs> George in eighty-five. Single one. That's eighteen. That's a five, that's 24. So Carol wins the first round. So here we go. We're looking now, this is for you, uh, Steve. And the question, for £85, people of which religion worship in a synagogue? Jewish. The Jewish religion is right. Marvellous. £245. <laughs> we move on to round two. And in again, Carol. Over to you, Tom. Again, Carol to the Single 20. It's a five. That's another 20. That's 45 for Carol. George with 45 to beat. That's out the board. Double 20. And that's a 12, that's 72 in the second round to George. So this question, Pat, for 72 pounds, which acid in a lemon makes it taste sour? Citric. Citric is right for 72 pounds, giving you 252 <laughs> into round three with all to play for. So the third, the final round, Carol to throw. Double 20. Single 20. And that's another 20. That's 80 scored for Carol. <laughs> George, what to do? 80 to beat. Single 20. That's a 5. That's another 20. That's 45. So the third round to Carol. Right. So here's your question. Steve, answer this question. Takes you through to the next round. What is a condor? I'll spell it for you if you like. C O N D O R. It's a bird. Is a bird. It's right for eighty pounds, giving you a score of three hundred twenty. Three twenty-five pounds. Sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Pat and George, but they're still going away with two hundred and fifty-two pounds. Give them a nice round of applause. They've done very, very well. Well, 
us all to play for on that last round, wasn't it? Have you enjoyed it? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You've done very, very well. The money's there, £252, which has been well worth you popping down to Birmingham to see us, hasn't it? Certainly. And you've got some lovely tankards, cut glass tankards, with bully... It's all engraved on there and the bullseye darts and the pen. It's been lovely having you with us. We'll see you in a couple of throws. Thank you. <laughs> Introducing the Bose SoundLink Mini, wireless, ultra compact Bose Sound. No, that's it. Shoulders back. Ah, like it. Yes, like it. Ha ha, like it. Well done. Ah, like it. Yes. Ah, like it. Whoa, Tiger, look out! <laughs> At b q we believe everyone deserves to light up their Christmas. Whether you're on four wheels or two. With 20% off our huge range of indoor and outdoor festive lights. Everything for a Christmas you'll love at b q Is Arono sour? Crushed ice, is Arono. Squeezed lemon, is Arono sour? Is Arono, be original. It can be annoying when things run out just as you need them. Babilis for Men's Super Stubble, waterproof with ultra precise length settings, is powered by lithium iron for a long lasting charge. For stubble control you can rely on, Babilis for Men Super Stubble. Messy is the light this one. And my sister likes this one. But I think she likes this one. <laughs> Is it an animal? Is it human? Presenting. What is this, trick or treat? The extraordinary freak show on MGMHD. Oh no. A season of beloved B movies and creepy cult classics. I'm passing sentence. The freak show. Continues late night throughout November on MGMHD. Thank you very much indeed. Hey, what a lovely audience. What a smashing crowd. That's great. You remember on the last series, great on the last series, we did the charity gamble with the, with the star dart player, and only two did it. One was Linda Batten, and the other was this fellow you're going to meet now. Give a nice warm round of applause to a Lancastrian, Mr Billy Leonard. <laughs> Hey, really, we were so thrilled last time, cos only two did it, you and Linda, didn't you? Yeah. That's right. And Linda did it earlier on, of course, in the series. Yeah. It, to do it twice is, ooh, asking a lot, isn't it? We hope you do it tonight. He's, he did it last time for us, because, you know, we double the money. If he gets 301 or more, we double it, and it goes to the charity chosen by the finalists. Give him an encouraging round of applause as he throws for charity. Billy Leonard, he's a lovely fellow. <laughs> Former News of the World Champion, throwing first down. Single one. Trouble 20. The single 20, that's 81. <laughs> Trouble 20. Single 20. Another 20, that's 100. <laughs> the six stars then, Billy, with 181. Three to go. Single 20. Treble 20. And that's a single 20, another 100, but that's 281. Marvellous, 
280, well, it's very close, wasn't it? Yeah. But very consistent throwing, that was my... Can meet the couple who, who've chosen the charities now. Come and stand and tell Bill about this charity. It's, uh, <laughs> to put money towards a guide dog for a New Forest person, for a blind person. In the for a specific person for in the New Forest. In new forest. And is this something you've got an interest in at home? You're working yeah. on that cause, are you? Yeah. That's marvellous. You have 200, well... Two hundred and eighty-one pounds. That's well on the way, yeah, isn't it? Lovely. That's Thank you very much indeed. I'm sure you must be very grateful to Bill Leonard. He's a lovely yeah. fellow, isn't he? Yeah. Bill, it's been a good time. What a lovely man. Thank you. Yeah. 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 How do you feel? A bit like that now. Are you surprised to get to this stage? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. honestly, you've done very, very well. Yeah. You, you re did come back from the dead, didn't you? I did. I thought yes. you'd gone <laughs> in the first round. It's marvellous getting that hundred, wasn't it? Yeah. We're going to show you a dartboard now. You know what I'm going to say to you, don't you? It's the Bullseye Star Prize Board. Come and have a look at it. I'll explain it to you. It's a test of memory as well as skill, this. Listen very carefully. We've got black segments and red segments. And in every red segment, there's a super prize. In one, for a suntan all the year round, a ten-element sunbed. In two, a stereo car radio cassette with speakers. In three, an upright freezer with shelves and fast freeze compartment. In four, wake up to the sound of music and a refreshing cuppa with this radio alarm tease made. In five, a D-shaped hall table with a green embossed leather top. In six, a three-quarter length ladies sheepskin coat. In seven, a microwave oven with automatic turntable and special defrost setting. In eight, for the children, in fact for the family, a cartridge video game. And Bully's Prize this week, a remote-controlled video cassette recorder capable of recording seven separate programmes on seven different channels over a period of seven days. Now, All right. Nine super prizes there. And we're giving you nine darts. Six for you, Carol, and six for you, and three for you, Steve. All right. So we want you to throw the first three. Now, listen, a little poem to help you. In this game, keep out of the black and in the red. Now, you get nothing at all for two in a bed. All right, if you get two in a, in a red bed, you lose the prize. All right. So, best of order, game on, and it's over to young Tony. It's Carol throwing the first three darts. That's in the red, it's number six. That's fine, that's the lady's sheepskin coat. Another red, number seven. That's a microwave oven. It's in the black, oh. very, very near to oh. Never mind, you've got two on three. That's a marvellous start for you. The sheepskin coat and the mi microwave oven. It's Steve to throw. If you all get two out of three, it's marvellous. Steve with three darts. Well, that's in the red, it's number eight. That's fine, that's a video game for the children. That's in the black. That's in the black, very near the ball, very unlucky still. Never mind, you're still doing very, very well. You've got three super prizes. Take your time, Carol. Three darts to throw. <coughs> Carol to throw. That's in the red, number three. Ooh, well, that's the fridge freezer. <laughs> that's the, the bullseye! Give me up the technical order. Do it anywhere. Do it anywhere. Let's have a look at what you've won. Can't believe it. You have won the fridge freezer, the lady's sheepskin coat, the microwave oven, the video game, and the video cassette recorder. What about that? Isn't that mild? <laughs> now listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. What an incredible night you've had, haven't you? You really come up right from nowhere. Yes. Remember what you've won. We're going to ask you to consider a gamble. Gamble the prizes you've won there. They're yours, you can take them away if you want to. You can gamble them against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. And all we want you to do is throw 101 or more with six darts. Three for you, Steve, three for you, Carol. And you've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us. Now, please have a chat about it, because you've, you've got a lot of money there on there. No, thank you. No, you've decided we've, already. No, we'll keep what we've got. You're going to prizes. take what you've got. Yes. All right, well, look, yes. hang on, I don't blame them. I really don't blame you. All the prizes you've got, and £325, all those prizes, you've got the bullseye darts, the pens, these two super bullseye tankards. It's been marvellous having you with us. We're thrilled to bits you've won. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Thank 
Well, well, well. Now, you know what we do. First time in the series this has happened. They're not gambling for the prize, so we bring back the couple who came second in the competition, Pat and George. Give them a nice welcome back on stage. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Did you think you were coming back? No, we've not. No. <laughs> now we'll ask you the same. You've won £252. And you can gamble that if you like against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. 101 or more with six darts. What do you think? I think I'm quite happy as I am. They're going. I don't know what to say about it, but there you go, George. I I'm not sure I blame you, but there you go. £252. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Well, now, so what do we do now? The first time in two series this has happened. We bring back the couple who came third in the competition. That's David and John. Bring them back on stage. <laughs> sorry, Dave, sorry. All right, John, no, no. now then, the same applies to you now. Come back. I bet you never, never thought you'd be back here at this no stage, way. did you? No way. You've got £110. You can gamble that for tonight's star prize. 101 or more. Three for you and three for you. What do you think? I think another go. You've got... Ah, yes! Yeah. <laughs> right. Careful. Non-dark player to go first. Non-dark player to go first. All right. Come and stand with me. Come and stand there, Dave. Over to Tony. Come on, now. What marvellous if we do it. Well, every chance now. And it's John throwing first for tonight's star prize. Well, that's double five. That's a single five. And that's a 14. That's 29. So David needing 72 and three darts in which to do it. That's double top. That's trouble 20, that's the start! Bolognese sauces are made with 100% natural ingredients. Completely natural ingredients? See, si, 100%. Wait until you taste it, Carlo. Hey, Mama, I think this tastes even better than before. That's because the Mama's in natural. <laughs> in fact, it tastes so good, it's just been voted the pasta sauce product of the year. When Senor told me all day. One of the UK's most popular casino apps just got better. Download it now and get £10 completely free to play a range of the most exciting casino games, including the classic roulette. With 37 lucky numbers, choose red or black, odds or evens, and you could turn your free £10 into 360 with just one spin. However you like to play, enjoy all the thrills of Vegas on the go with your instant £10 free. Download the Sky Vegas app from the App Store now. <laughs> ER. A place of hope. <laughs> Miracles. You will battle every sponsor in the crib. Use your beef name, crash card. Heroes. All right, people. Showtime. Let's go. And George. It's nice to meet you. What amount of math? Six liters? Pressure 60 over 40. Even I need rest. Bye. ER. Weekdays at 11. Brand new to pick.
Hello there. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Well, nice to be back with you. What about last week? We couldn't believe it last week. They came back from the dead, didn't they, and took the car away. Do you remember it? We'll just refresh your memories. So David needing 72 and three darts in which to do it. That's double top. That's trouble 20! That's the score! Oh, come on, come on, Marvellous, isn't it? Let's hope it happens again because we really do want them all to win on Bullseye. Let's welcome the first couple tonight who are back with us to play on Bullseye. From Yorkshire, Derek Ledger and Roger Crossley. Hello, Roger. Hello, nice. How are you? How are you, Derek? All the way from Barnsley. From Barnsley. We had somebody on the fortnight to go from Barnsley, I think. A couple of lads, Jim and Roland, I remember them now. Yeah. What do you do for a living, Roger? Join it. Join it? Yeah. You work for yourself? No, a local firm at Barnsley. In Barnsley. Do you yeah. want to mention the firm? Barnsley Metropolitan. Barnsley yeah. Metropolitan? Mm -hmm. Is that the council, is it? Yeah. No. Oh, I see. What about you, Derek? Oh, I've got council as well. Are you mates socially as well? I mean, yeah. You, yeah, you go out for a drink and whatever. Well, we can. When you, is it, are you both married? Yeah. Is it when your wives let you out, is it? That's it. Oh, you're not dominated, are you? Eh? Just a bit. Just a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I know you're, you're fanatical dart players, aren't you? Yeah. And you've got, what, what about any, any more sports have you got, Rog? Just football, then. Do you play soccer? Well, just with lads, you know. Because, I mean, you're a big lad, aren't you, to play no, soccer? What, not what position do you play? Half back, centre half. So, Hey, the days of centre half have gone now, haven't they? You're giving your age away, aren't you? <laughs> it's not a centre half, it's sweepers now, isn't it? Well, we do, yeah. So, you play in the back four, flattening them down when they come past, is that mm. what it is? Eh? <laughs> what about you, Derek? I like any sport. Do you do, you do anything apart from playing the arts, do you? Uh, I collect commemorative stamps, first day calls. Do you really? Have you got a good collection? I've got them from 1968. So they'll be worth a bit for you, won't they? It will be eventually. Eventually. Right? That's good. And you're the brains part of the outfit tonight, aren't I'm, you? I'm going to try. <laughs> it's grand. Nice to have you with us. You've been smashing. Derek, off you go into your little seat there. Go on, Rod. Sit down and relax. The next couple tonight who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Central, Ben Downing and Wendy Pierce Butler. Right, yeah. This is Andy Shea with. with. How are you, Wendy? It's oh, Wendy and Ben, isn't it? That's and and you, you were. What do you do for a living, Ben? I'm in the Air Force. In the RAF. Where at? At uh, Abingdon, near Oxford. Abingdon, near Oxford, fine. And um, what about you, Wendy? What do you do? I design things sometimes. You, what, what sort of thing do you design? Clothes. Clothes. Yeah. And bits of furniture. So you're an aesthetic sort of person, really? Are you? Terribly. Yes. What do they do with the designs when you've done them, when you've made them? I make them into things. You actually design them and make pieces yes. of furniture and things, do you? Yes. What was the bit I, I heard about? What about the motorbikes? Do you, are you into motorbikes? Yes, into racing motorbikes. Really? Yeah. And and we did say you got these paintings around the house of all the oil paintings of the motorbikes. Is yeah, that right? Yes, painted by Wendy. She and you do them, Wendy. That's you paint right. them. That's right. So it's a it's a very artistic sort of relationship, isn't it? Are you married? Um, not yet. No, you you just you just doing a few paintings and see how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> that's about well, that's right. <laughs> You can't beat a map finish. That's very good. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's nice to have you with us. It's an outrageous lady, this interview. We haven't You're just got wrong. to the bottom of it yet, but we will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a nice warm round of applause, a lovely couple, Wendy. Off you go to your seat, Rob. Nice to have you with us. And the third couple tonight, and we're going to play with us on Bullseye. Come on, make them nice. From Central, David Bradley and Stan Hawkins. It's well, the nose has gone down a bit, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Because you've been on holiday, haven't you, this summer? And it was all when you came, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's oh. always like that. Is it really? I didn't know whether it was dipped or on main beam. I wasn't sure <laughs> when you came. In what do you do, Stan, for a living? I'm in the ambulance service. Oh, yes, that, that's right. I read a bit about you. You're the, the standing ambulance man, aren't you? That's it. I'm on an emergency machine. I'm, in the the, that's right. Is that, how, how many hours? Is that shift work or is it...? Yeah, it's an alternating shift, days yeah. and evenings. Yeah. What about you, Dave? <coughs> I'm a representative for a finance company. For a finance company? Not one of these would come and take the cars away, is it? Two years. Oh, is it really? <laughs> I'll be taking a few of them back these days, aren't you? We're hoping to take that one back with you. Oh, you are, yeah, you are hoping to take the one back went last week. Yeah, never mind. Nice to have you with us. Happily married, Stan. Yes, thanks. Uh, six years. Two six, children. Two children in six years. Mm, that, one boy, one girl. One of each. That, well, that's grand. Mm. What does your wife do? Does she work? Uh, she's a part-time nurse at Dudley Road. Because you're, you're middle of lads, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. What about... Low. Are you married, Dave? Yeah, Carol. And what does your wife do, Carol? Uh, she works for a leasing company. 
a leasing company, so between the, the two of you, you've got the finance world sewn up, have you? That's it, yeah. You've got it all sorted. <laughs> Is your car on the drip? They call it on the drip, don't they? HP, they call it, don't they? On the drip. Are you listening when I'm talking? <laughs> On the drip, on the chucky. That's easy. It? On the chucky. Yeah. Do, you, do you have that as, up there? All of it? Do you have that? The chu I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the game? Because they do say they get a bit nervous when they get on. Are you all right? Yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking. We've right. looked after you and we've tried to make you feel fairly yeah. comfortable, haven't we? It's nice to have you with us. We've got three smashing couples, haven't we, tonight? David, off you go and sit down. Thank Sam, you. sit down there. Lovely. Nice to have them with us. <laughs> yes, why not? Look at all the way. Boy. You've seen the bullseye dartboard before. We'll just go through it very quickly once again. There it is with the categories round the outside and the bonus areas and the bonus, the bonus figures can be won by the darts players. Just to remind you, this will destroy you, this. The bullseye, if they get it, is worth £200. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. All right. Once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. OK. Exactly the same as every week on bullseye. Now, we've arranged the, the order of contestants. We did that before we came on the air. So we're going to move in now and we'll start the game. The questions in the first round are worth £30 each, just to remind you once again. So come on, Derek, choose a subject for Roger. Sport, please. OK, come on, Roger, all the way from Barnsley. <laughs> and it's a question on places. So there's no bonus, but here's your question on places. Early days, Derek. What was Zimbabwe called immediately before independence? Rhodesia. Good answer. It, yeah, not all that easy with those African states. Well done. <laughs> Come on, Wendy. Choose your subject. Spelling, please. Spelling for Ben. All right, Ben. Wendy wants a spelling question. And it's not. He's got you a question on Great Britain. But it's still early days and you're still settling in. So for £30, how many archbishops are there? in the Church of England? Two. He's right. <laughs> I bet you thought that was a rude sign, didn't you? It wasn't, really. Come on, David, what about a subject? Uh, sport, please. Come on, Stan. See if you can get a sport question for David. Flashing to help you. And he's there, he's got you a £50 bonus, and here's your question on sport. It's coming up now. For another £30 to give you 80 in the first round. Which British boxer was the first man to knock down Muhammad Ali? Henry Cooper. He's right for £30. Well done. <laughs> so at the end of the first round, we've got Derek and Roger with 30, Wendy and Ben with 30, and David and Stan with £80. We move to round two. And this time the questions are worth £50 each. A little bit more difficult and less categories. Let's have a look at what we've got left. Food, showbiz. Current affairs, history, books, words and spelling. Right, Derek, what do you think? Books, please. Books this time for Rog. Plenty of time, Rog. And he's there, he's got a £50 bonus. And your question... <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> books. Complete the next line from the poem of Rudyard Kipling. Now, relax on this. Oh, east is east... And west is west, and... Near the toast shall meet. Yes, we'll accept it. Near the twain shall meet is right. Good lad, well done. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Good answer, Derek. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Wendy. Spelling again, Spelling. please. Spelling. Spelling still there to be won. <clears throat> ben to throw. And it's not written, and the subject's gone, so we can't ask the question. Move to David. Still early days. David, choose a subject. Uh, showbiz, please. Showbiz? <coughs> Come on then, Stan. Flashing to help you. And it's not. It's sport. And the subject's gone, so we can't ask the question. At the end of that round gives us Derek and Roger with £130, Wendy and Ben with £30, and David and Stan with £80. We move to round three. This time the questions are worth £100. More difficult and less categories. Let's have a look at what we've got to go at. We've got food. Showbiz, current affairs, history, words and spelling. And it's Derek to choose a subject for Roger. Food, please. <clears throat> food this time. £100 question on food. <coughs> and we've got places and it's gone, so we can't ask the question. We move on to Wendy. Affairs, please. Current affairs. Wendy, chosen current affairs for Ben. 
not, it's showbiz, so there's no bonus. But if you get this right, Wendy, it's £100 for you. Who wrote Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, on which the musical Cats was based? It's been buzzed, I'm sorry. Anybody in the audience? £100 question, it was T.S. Eliot. Never mind, we move on now to David and Stan, and it's David to choose a subject. Uh, spelling, please. Spelling? Stan? Spelling he wants? It's there and flashing for you. And he's got your £30 bonus, and here's the question on spelling for a further £100. Spell the scientific name for a snapdragon, which is antirhinum. Sorry? I'll say it again for you. A scientific name for a snapdragon, which is antirhinum. A-N-T-E-R-Y-N-A-M. It's not, and it's not an easy one. I'll spell it for you. A-N-T-I-R-R-H-I-N-U-M. Antirhinum. Not easy, but it was a £100 question. So at the end of that round, we have the scores with Derek and Roger with £130, Wendy and Ben with £30, David and Stan with £110. So sadly, it, we've got to say cheerio to Wendy and Ben. Give them a nice warm round of applause. Not easy the questions were there, but there we are. We've got the bullseye darts and the pen, and we've got, of course, £30 for you, which will count out there. 10, 20, 30 pounds. It might just it'll buy us a drink, perhaps, won't it? It's May buy you some oil paints. That eh? was easy, wasn't it? That was fairly easy, wasn't <laughs> it? Give them a nice round of applause, Wendy and Ben. Lovely couple. <laughs> Now we come to round two of the game, and here, as you all remember, we use a normal traditional match play dartboard. And you remember, of course, here, we asked the two remaining dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other. The highest scorer of each round wins for his partner a question, and the value of that question is the winning score. OK? So, lads, it's pounds for points. As many as you can get. Come in, Rog. In you go up to the hockey, and it's over to Tony Green. Round one, it's Roger to three. It's the treble one. Seven twenty. Treble one again, that's 26. Stand them with 26 to eight. Single 20. That's a single five. That's another five. That's 30. But Stan takes the first round. Right. <laughs> so it's, uh, here we are, David. This is for 30 pounds for you, and a start in the in the second round of the competition. A cob and a pen are the names for a male and female. Cob and a pen. We can offer it across to Derek. Swans. A swan is right, and you score £26, because that's what your partner got. Which gives it 156 plays 110, and we're into round two. <laughs> and Roger once again, starting round two. Triple 20. Another triple 20. Single 20, 140! Down then, a lot to do now. 140 to beat. Single 20. Single one. Another one, that's 22. Second round to Roger. All right. <laughs> Derek, for £140, this question. Your doctor probably reads the BMJ. What does BMJ stand for? Uh, the British Medical Journal. Is absolutely right for £140. <laughs> and we're over to round three. Third, final round. Single one. Single 20. And that's a five. That's 26 scored. Well, that's a check. That's 41 scored. So it's 41 for Roger. Stand 41 to beat. Single five. Single five. Single 20, 30. So the final round goes to Roger on 41. Right, so the question, and this is worth £41. <laughs> and for a place in the final, what is a white wire dot? Fish. 
It's uh, not. All right, David, any idea what a, what's a white wire dot? Bird. What sort of a bird? I'll, give you, I'll leave it with you. Swan. It's not a swan. It's very, very close. It's a breed of domestic hen. Never mind. Gives us a score. It's 296 plays, 110. So we've got to say a cheerio to David and Stan. Give them a nice round of applause because they've done very, very well. Come on. You've done very well. You've got your bullseye darts and you've got the pen and these lovely bullseye tankards, which are all engraved as a souvenir of the show, and of course, £110, which is there. We're delighted to have had you with us. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, you've been right. nice. We've nice. enjoyed having you with us. See us in a couple of throws. We'll see you soon. <laughs> When the urge to smoke strikes, it strikes fast. That's why new Niquitin Oral Strips start to work fast. New Niquitin Oral Strips are the first and only stop smoking aid in a strip. They dissolve fast, release nicotine fast. They start to relieve your urge to smoke fast. All designed to double your chances of quitting. New Niquitin Oral Strips. Fast relief in the right direction. Party season just got hotter. Elnet Heat Protect Styling Sprays. Defeat extreme heat with up to 230 degree protection. Protect, heat and style. Smooth it. Boost it. Wave it. Style just got hotter. Elnet Heat Protect Styling Sprays from L'Oreal Paris. A new evil has risen in Hyrule. In a world filled with secrets and dungeons. Use Link's new powers to move across walls and between worlds and uncover the mysterious kingdom of Low Rule. Discover new enemies and new allies with the freedom to explore as you want. The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, only on Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS. Our three fish roast. Fresh cod and smoked haddock wrapped in delicious salmon so it's full of great flavours. And all for six pounds. Go on, it's Christmas. Oh, decisions, decisions. I mean, how many pairs of shoes does one woman need? Oh, decisions, decisions. Gourmet gold. A variety of delicious textures like tempting terrines, succulent casseroles, and mouth-watering pâtés. Perfectly delicious. Gourmet gold. As I was saying, you can never have too much choice. Purina. Mark Watts. You're our kind of person. Coach, physio, shoelace tire. You're a man of many talents. While your team may never win a trophy, you certainly deserve one. If anyone's giving extra, it's you, Mark. And at Halifax, we think people who give extra should get extra back from their bank. Like a mortgage that only requires a 5% deposit. Mark, looks like you're going up a league. <laughs> Is it an animal? Is it human? Presenting... What is this, trick or treat? The Extraordinary Freak Show on MGM HD. Oh, no. A season of beloved B-movies and creepy cult classics. I'm passing sentence. The Freak Show continues late night throughout November on MGM HD. second half of Bullseye. We'd like to introduce you to a gentleman now. He hasn't been with us before. All the way from Scotland, he's an international representing his country. The talents of Mr Angus Ross. Nice warm round of applause. It's lovely to have you with us, all the way from Scotland. And, um, cos we haven't seen you on the show before, what sort of a year are you having? Oh, quite good, yeah. You're doing well? Mm -hmm. Paying your bills and making a few bucks? Trying. Yeah, cos it's all about... It, a lot of pressure, isn't it? Are you doing exhibition matches all the time? Yes, all the time. And everybody's after beating you, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. Have you got an ambition in the business? Yeah. What is it? Try to be world number one sometime. You want to be <coughs> the lad up there, mm -hmm. leading the world. All right. We hope tonight you're going to do well for us. We're going to ask you right. to throw 301 or more with nine darts. And if you do that, Central will double that figure and give it to the charity. 
chosen by the finalists. All right, we're all rooting for you, and I'm sure the country is as well. Give Angus a nice warm round of applause as he throws the shot. Single 20, that's 38. Single 20. Travel 20. Single 20, 100. <laughs> and this then with 138 after six times. Three to go. Single 20. That's a one, that's 41, 179. <laughs> it's not easy, is it, coming no. in and just doing it cold, isn't it? And it's lovely for the public, though, because they see that even great dart players like yourself and all the big boys in there can go in there and maybe not get it absolutely right all the time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, welcome back. Come on, lads, <laughs> tell us about the charity. This is a gentleman who's got you a few quid for your charity. Tell us about this charity. Uh, hoping to buy some equipment for the local... For the hospital. local hospital, and that's in Barnsley. That's in Barnsley. And what sort of equipment is it? Is it just Any what, you're just going to put some money want. into the fund, yeah. and they're going to buy what they yeah. want? Well, he's got you 179 pounds. I'm sure you're grateful about that, ladies and gentlemen. Angus Ross is a lovely fella. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> well, you've really done the big is. bit. Yeah, you've done the big bit, haven't you? Because it is the big bit getting through to the last. He's petrified, is this fella? Here, isn't he? Just relax. You're all right. We're going to show you a dartboard now. You know it, you've seen it on the last series and on this series. It's the Bullseye Starboard. <coughs> come and have a look at it and I'll take you through it very slowly. Come on, Rog. Come on, Derek. It's a test of memory as well as skill, is this. On this board, we've got black segments and red segments. And in every red segment, there are some super prizes. In one, a family sized fridge incorporating a drinks dispenser. In two, for the children to get out and about, boys and girls cycles. In three, for the handyman, a portable workbench with tools. In four, an automatic front-loading washing machine with eight programme settings. In five, a set of three lightweight suitcases. In six, a four-band stereo radio cassette recorder using either mains or battery. In seven, a coffee table with a glass-top map of the world with brass trim. In eight, a camera with a pistol grip flash to give you instant pictures. And Bully's special prize this week, a 26-inch remote-controlled colour TV in an attractive camera. Nine super prizes, aren't they? They're great prizes, and we're giving you nine darts. Now, we know you're both great dart players. We want you to do very well. Little poem, just to remind you. In this game, keep out of the black and in the red. You get nothing at all for two in a bed. Two darts in the red and you lose the prize you've won. OK. So it's three darts first of all for Rog. I'm going to stand there, young sir, and relax. Best of order. Rog is setting off for the prizes. That's black. Oh. That's in the red, number one. That's fine. That's a fridge and drinks dispenser. That's a lovely prize. Red, number two. That's fine. That's the children's bike. So you've got two super prizes. Two on three. Come and stand in here, Rog. That's a super start. Derek now, three darts to go. It's red number three. It's fine, a workbench and tools. Super. Well, that's in the black. But that's red, it's number four. That's a washing machine. <laughs> well done, that's four good prizes. Take your darts, marvellous. When you go, and it's the last three darts, over to Tony. And so this is the final three darts, and it's Roger to throw. And that's red. Number five. That's the suitcases. <laughs> red again. And number red, eight. That's the camera. <laughs> and that's that's the the ball ball ball. Ball. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I can't believe it. Super. Oh, dear, dear. Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the fridge and drinks dispenser, the children's bikes, the workbench and tools, the washing machine, the suitcases, the camera and Bully Star Prize, the 26-inch colour television. <laughs> well, what a marvellous night you've had, 
Now, now then, I've got to ask you to consider a gamble. Tonight's star prize is hiding behind Bully, and you can gamble those prizes you've won against tonight's star prize. You've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us what you want to do. Have a chat about it. You've about five or six seconds. What do you think? So you we'll, want to take us, we'll take us prizes. You're going to take the prizes. Right. I think you're very wise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two lovely lads. Marvellous day. And look here, you've got your... You've got your bullseye tankards and your money, £296, and your bullseye darts and your pen. What an incredible night you've had with us. Give them a nice round of applause, the marvellous lads. Very good. Have a good night. All right. Well, 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 well. So what we do now, you know what we do. We bring back the couple who came second, and we ask them if they're prepared to consider a gamble. Welcome back, David and Stan. <laughs> Got a lot of time. Listen very carefully. The gamble, 101 or more, with six darts. Three for Stan, three for David, for tonight's star prize. But you're gambling your 110 pounds. What do you think? Let me go. You're going to gamble it. All right. So non dart player first. Here we go. Best of order for the gamble. Over to Tony. Tonight's star prize. It's David and Stan, and it's David throwing first. Well, that's not lucky. Settle down. It's out of the ball. 18. And that's a 6. That's 24. Leaving 77 required by Stan. Well, that's 9. 10. Need 67. Can't be done. That's unlucky, but that's the gamble. Never mind, you missed it. Come and have a look at what you would have won. Come and have a look at it. Come on. Never mind, there it is. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Never mind. Nice to have had you with us. We'd like uh, to thank you very much indeed for watching Bullseye tonight. Thanks very much to Angus Ross, to Tony Green, to all our contestants and to you for watching. We'll be back next week with Bullseye. Good night, safe journey. The day wouldn't be the same without a bit of bully, would it? Bye!